So what in the world is osteoporosis? Why should you care if you don't have it? What does it mean? You know, it is classified as a disease, but I actually don't believe that it is. It's just a simply a deconditioning of bone. So anything that could be deconditioned can be reconditioned. So what it is, is your body hits what's called peak bone mass, the highest bone density you're going to achieve in your life, typically at about the age of 30. And then people start losing one to 2% bone mass per year thereafter. When women hit menopause, it accelerates for them. In fact, you see a woman pre-menopause and post-menopause, and they'll age faster during that period of life, just more than any other time. And so during that time, they can lose 20% of their bone mass just through menopause. But all of us, after 30, are losing it. And of course, as our bones get weaker, our muscles get weaker because our central nervous system won't allow our muscles to be stronger than what our bones can handle. So we've got that going for us too, <laughs> if that's something that goes for you. And it's kind of a big deal because it leads to a lot of problems. The, the medical industry and medications and fractures and things like that that, call, that are happen as a result of osteoporosis cost our country like $300 billion a year. Not to mention the the pain associated with a fracture or you know just the loss of mobility the fear that comes along with i could break a bone and this kind of thing and about one in two women are actually going to have an osteoporotic fracture after the age of 50. it's about one in three men will have one and so it's a big deal for all of us but not to worry anything that could be deconditioned can be reconditioned and you could actually recondition your bones there was a study that was done back in 2012 by Jason Deere, who's a lead researcher. And what he found was when you have a sufficient amount of pressure, bones could rebuild themselves. In fact, we've known this since 1892, I believe, when Dr. Julius Wolf came up with Wolf's Law, which is when you put enough pressure on bone, you stimulate it to build more bone. We just never really knew how much pressure was really required to make that happen until Jason Deere did his study. And in his study, he found that people needed 4.2 multiples of their body weight as a minimum to trigger the development of osteogenesis or the development of new bone. And so what he had people do was stand on high surfaces with an accelerometer attached to their hips. They would jump off a high surface and he would measure how much force they were able to generate, then would do a blood test to see whether or not they had actually triggered this effect. Anybody who got less than 4.2 multiples of body weight didn't see a triggering of this effect, right? And so you're thinking, wow, 4.2 multiples of body weight is pretty high. It's not that hard to get. You'd be surprised. You could jump off about uh, two feet off the ground and get it, but it's still hard to get because your body will flex in order to diminish the amount of force on the ground. So the higher and higher I jump a surface, it actually, it's a lower and lower multiples of body weight I found when I attached a, a, an accelerometer to my hips because my knees would flex more. So it's kind of hard to do it and frankly, not too safe if you're jumping off high surfaces. Um, that's why we created OsteoStrong because it enables people to experience these levels of force and much, much more with, without the impact. So you're not damaging your joints or any of that kind of thing. And you could actually see on the computer screens what kind of force you're able to generate so you know you're hitting your trigger points to trigger your central nervous system to start building bone. Now, if you know me or heard anything about me, you know that I believe in supplementation. Supplementation can slow the rate of bone loss in people, and it's kind of a big deal. But when you go to OsteoStrong and you're triggering the stimulus to make your brain want to build bone, it's huge. But if you don't have the material there to build bone, then you don't get quite good of results as you like. So, you know, you've heard about vitamin D3, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, all these different minerals go to work together to help you build bone. And what a lot of people don't realize is that certain micronutrients compete with one another. So vitamin D3 and K2 actually compete for absorption. A lot of people take those things together with their multivitamin thinking they're getting everything that they need. And so this is not something that you're going to find out there very readily. Um, it's kind of a big deal. And so there's a lot of micronutrients that compete with each other. And I'll give you an idea of, you'll probably, you might've experienced this before. Have you ever taken a multivitamin on an empty stomach and it made you sick and you start feeling nauseous? 
That's because there's micronutrient competition going on in your stomach and your body produces these salts to make you ill to get them out of you because it's creating this competition. So knowing which nutrients to take at what time is a big deal. I only know of one supplement line that does this. And listen, there's a lot of great supplements out there that help people with things like building bone, immunity, and so forth. But there's only one that I've ever found that actually creates a situation where they divided all competing micronutrients from each other, and that's Calton. Calton Nutrition is the only one I know. Go ahead and click the link if this is something that you want to learn more about, because then you could actually take these things on an empty stomach and it doesn't make you ill. And they're phenomenal. And so your body is getting most of what you're taking. Listen, you can rebuild your bone. Osteoporosis is not something to be afraid of. It can be reconditioned. We've seen it time and time again. Researchers have proven it and we want to help you with that. So don't be afraid of osteoporosis.